Alpha Bravo. Check, check. Pantera, Pantera. This okay. is Voltari. Come in. Here, the best battery stay from here. Yeah. Can you see the, the dredge? Yep. So if you go either side on low tide, it's problematic. Okay. You must be right on the center. There for us, son. What's good? Well, Lord, here we go. Embarking on this fabulous journey with this special group of people who have worked their lives to make this moment happen. May the seas be kind and the sun rise soon and see us safely to the other side. Amen. That's good. Amen. Amen. Let's go. You know, in life, when you set out to do a monumental type of events, there's always moments that are going to come up, you know, during that, that make you look back and just go, wow. Well, you know, we crossing most of it at night, there's really nothing quite as spiritually uplifting as when that sunrise comes up. Uh, I'll never forget that sunrise. I mean, it was perfect. And, you know, we'd been rotating some, some sleeping shifts and everybody got up for sunrise. Yeah, man. Um, you know, it's not a job for, for all of us. Yes, we work, you know, countless hours, day and night to try and achieve uh, the things we're achieving. But along the way, there's a group of very driven humans that have come together that make very special connections. These human beings are sacrificing everything. I mean, here we are working 24 seven to make this dream a reality, but uh, we're having the time of our life doing it. Something, there's something that happens when you're at sea, you know, like when you're within sight of land, it's one thing. But when you're completely out of sight of land for 360 degrees and you're with a bunch of beautiful people, there's no cell coverage. You know, your mind goes so clear, the spirit comes out. Uh, it's a, it's, it's a, a, a pure moment that's very hard to find these days. And, you know, you start wondering, geez, is this, are we going to make it? Did we calculate right? Is this, is this going to turn out the way we had hoped? And yeah, and then, you know, you just keep pushing on. And before you know it, you're over the halfway mark. And then it's, 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 it's all in. And uh, we're uh, making history. First electric boat across the Atlantic and the Gulf Stream. And uh, we couldn't be more excited. Look that beautiful Volcari. Here for breakfast on the ocean. The captain's the man doing a great job back there. I mean, Bimini is a, is a very, very small island. Uh, it's one of the smaller Bahamian islands, and if you, if you, <laughs> if you're not right on course, you're probably going to miss it. Uh, so when you see it, it's a, a speck of a speck, and then that speck grows, and you see a couple markers and then you see some we came in after sundown man when you can see that land yeah that's when you know you've that's that first feeling of wow we've made it you know a special moment Jean-Francois Leving driving the Voltari 260 from Key Largo to Bimini Bahamas and we have just spotted land and uh, it's absolutely an amazing experience to share with you Jean Francois. Thank you buddy. Land ho! There is 
know, better boating than turquoise waters at Bahamas. I mean, that's, and the Caribbean in general. I mean, those waters, they, they do something emotionally to the human spirit. As far as I know, I, there's never been an electric boat on these waters before. This is the first time in history. Well, I think what this crossing means for electric boating is uh, it's going to make a lot of people realize that this is not just about, oh, hey, there's a few little electric boats around that, you know, you can use electric technology. It's like, wow, electric boating is here. I mean, this has been 13 years in the making for a group of people dedicated to really trying to make this happen. And, you know, the world of, of marine EV is here and a lot of people think it's like, it's just starting. But it started years ago. And we've just uh, really come out of our stealth mode to bring this product to market. And here we are in the Bahamas, <laughs> cruising around for free. We have another crossing because we have to get home. There's a northerly coming down the Gulf Stream that's gonna hit early morning, so we're gonna try and get out of here tonight. I think we'll, uh, I think we'll make it. <laughs>